to the Silver Town Reds recap video for our classes on Thursday the 8th of August, our workshop in Cardiff on the 10th of August, and our class, Monday evening class on the 12th of August. So before I go on, um, if you're on Facebook, please uh, join the Cardiff Tango um, classes, Malongas, workshops and events group, which have recently set up. This is a free to posting group providing the um, posts are about a event happening in a CF postcode, so there's no admin interference, um, so every post that goes on there will stay there and it won't go through admin approval first, so you're guaranteed to know that what events are going on. Unless it's inappropriate. Unless it's inappropriate, in which case then we'll remove posts. So, um, on Thursday we were looking at the cross. So we're starting with an outside system of walking, so step to the left, twist our chest towards the follower and then turn to face our follower and then twist our chest to the left as we transfer our weight over our left foot which causes the follower to pivot on her right leg and cross the left leg in front. So the important part is this pivot in foot. So you should never end up in a position where you step across or there's a space between the legs. It's a pure motion from there. From here, we can over pivot the follower and then step out on the right, uh, on the left foot. Or, I could step out on the right foot and we're into the cross system of walking. So we can perform this outside cross on, on any system. So if I come out in the cross system of walking, keep my chest from my follower, if I twist my chest to the left, all will happen is, as I'll pivot the follower, she can go into a cross from here, and then we can centre out. I can put a block in, in which case uh, we can get a shoe shine, making sure the follower's knee is on the outside of the leader's leg, and I can take it through into archos, or I can take it through into an archipitado, that sidestep to the right, sinking down, and then take the weight back onto her right foot, pivoting her back into that front cross, ready to go out. So, that was our class last Thursday. On Friday, we had quite another well, Saturday in Cardiff. We had quite a small number for the workshop, which was opposite to the month before, where we had lots of people for the workshop, but then a small longer. This time we had a larger longer, smaller workshop. So we could really delve into the issues that each person in that workshop was having. So we covered some work on heroes, so making sure that these side steps in the hero are always moving from the leader's right hand side to the left hand side or the left hand side to the right hand side depending on the decoration. Making sure that during these back step pivot phases the leader is helping the follower pivot back and again she's taking a good sized step around the leader. And again on these forward step phases making sure the foot is pointed towards the leader, the chest is with the leader to help the pivots. Also on Saturday, then we did also cover a little bit on watching guitars as well. Watch the previous part of that video for that, or this video for that. And then today, which is Monday the 12th, uh, we had a look at, what did we just do? Back options. Back options. So we started off with mean on Gero style back option. So from our embrace, taking a side step to the left, I'm going to keep my follower on her right foot as I change weight, and then I can walk in the cross system of walking. From this cross system, as I step forward with my left leg, if I pivot my chest to the left, this causes the follower to pivot on her standing leg, and she steps across slightly. I can then pivot her to the right, and if I walk outside, we end up with the very small back option, which travel in the line of dance as I step on either side of my follower. I can then choose how big a pivot I want my follower to do. So I can pivot her more while still travelling forward. I can pivot her in the standard way, you could say bochos, where she's pivoting from side to side, and I can match her with side steps. Or I can even over pivot her, at which case then I start travelling backwards. Finally, we added in some followers' decorations. So as we do these options, she has opportunities here to tuck the foot inside, in front, on either side, to get some 
degrees there. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll, um, I'll link to that card if you put in the description below. And we'll see you in another class very soon. Thank you for watching this Urban Tango Nights recap. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the logo. You can find more of our class summaries down here and other videos of us dancing tango over here. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Meetup. Links are in the description below. And you can also subscribe to our newsletter using the link below.